In today's video, I'll be giving away 3 Diamond Pass Reals. All you need to do to enter is like, comment, and subscribe. Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be playing the best Goblin Giant Evolution deck in Clash Royale. We're up against Fernand. Just going to go for the Goblin Demolisher here. I believe this is the best Goblin Giant Evolution deck. You have so many broken cards in here. You have the Prince, the Phoenix, the Evo Zap. You even have Arrows and Goblin Curse. I actually think this is an 8 for 8 broken card deck right here. Even the Fisherman I find to be quite strong. Guys, the Goblin Giant Evolution is actually quite okay i'm not gonna say it's broken i'm not gonna say it's bad either i've had some pretty funny moments with this deck i actually three crowned someone earlier with only the goblin giant evolution it spawned like 15 different goblins on the tower and uh <laughs> he had no elixir so it was just like an infinite goblin generator it was so funny goblin giant evo has a lot of funny moments it's a very funny evo that's one thing i do enjoy about it it's more of like a fun evo i'm gonna goblin giant here it will cycle me to my evo and i think he's playing pekka so i'll just be able to get a good push here i'm gonna arrows and i'll get some pretty good goblin giant damage on the tower and then my phoenix will take out most of the pekka forcing out the rage i have goblin demolisher here for defense there has been a lot of pekka ever since i started running the goblin giant so you guys might have to make sure your deck is okay against Pekka because especially in like a season where there is a evolved Goblin Giant, people are probably going to be running more Pekka. So make sure you have like your Princes, your Phoenixes and other cards like that to be able to actually deal with Pekka very well. These cards are very good against Pekka because if you put them behind the Goblin Giant and they go Pekka on it, it usually just kills the Pekka and the Goblin Giant. It probably dies itself, but you have a lot of support troops overwhelming them most of the time. And then the Fisherman is just a super solid card too. That e was is going to do good against the Prince, though. Very good P.E.K.K.A. deck from this guy. I'll Phoenix the back. Wait, that was kind of a bad batter. I'm all Demolisher here, and I think I could get a Goblin Giant at the bridge. Also, having the Fisherman to pull away some of the P.E.K.K.A.s is very nice, too. I'll Evo Gob Giant like this. I don't want to do it too high, because then I won't be able to support it properly. Now I can go for the Goblin Curse. I'm going to Fisherman that P.E.K.K.A. away. It'll probably die, but... It it just spawned three goblins. Like, look at that. That goblin giant spawned three goblins in, like, five seconds. It's actually so good. Wait, he's getting overwhelmed. Bang! Demolisher on the tower. I'm just going to keep going in right here. I'm going to go for the phoenix at the bridge. Okay, hold up. That demolisher is going to blow up again. Bang! Goblin demolisher is so broken, guys. I don't know how goblin demolisher hasn't gotten nerfed yet. Wait, Evo Zap here on the firecracker. Oh, wait, it reset the bandit. Nice, nice, nice. I'm going to goblin curse here. I won. Tower down. Let's go. This is what I'm talking about, guys, with the Prince and the Phoenix. They work so good with the Goblin Giant Evolution. And especially the Evil Goblin Giant, it spawned three goblins, distracting his P.E.K.K.A., distracting those P.E.K.K.A. shots, kept my Prince alive, and just took out his entire tower. Let's go. I'll see you guys in the next match. If this deck can beat P.E.K.K.A., I'm honestly not exactly sure what can beat this deck. This deck just seems so strong. Like, I'm trying to think about it. Maybe, like, Hog could be hard maybe goblin drill could be a little bit difficult probably like hog rider and goblin drill but i think it could definitely win hog rider when i have prince and fisherman maybe just goblin drill because i don't have really any good drill counters i'll just curse here on the musketeer plus knight try to take it out quicker oh no i'm gonna goblin giant here it's not really the greatest situation i'm gonna prince right here i was about a phoenix but i think prince will be better hold up he's gonna skeletons to pull in the prince i'm gonna prediction zap on the skellies maybe nice Let's go. That was such a good zap. That was maybe the best zap of the day, guys. Best zap of the day right there. <laughs> I knew he was going to do it, but I had to predict the exact placement. But I thought that he would go right there because of Tesla. And he wants to pull it to the Tesla to get as much damage in as possible. Dude, getting a quick 2,000 damage like that is actually so big because... It's not going to be easy to break through Expo. But now he's going to have to go overly aggressive because of it. I'll just Goblin Demolisher the back here. Wait, he has a rocket? Bro, okay, I'm going to go for the Phoenix plus Evil Goblin Giant. No way he can get away with this, right? Actually, he probably can with Tesla plus Musketeer, but even if he does go for the Tesla Musketeer, maybe I could DPS down the Tesla quick enough for it to not matter. Nah, I'm not going to get any damage here, unfortunately, but at least I'll force out a lot of Elixir right now. That's 9 Elixir, that's 10 Elixir. I'll zap too. Maybe I could get a bit of damage. Nah, rip. It's all good, though. I did cycle to my Evo Zap by doing that, so it's not really the end of the world. He could get an Expo Lock here on the left, though, if he goes in. But honestly, with this damage lead, I think I win no matter what anyways, honestly. Because if this guy goes for, like, any types of Expos, I have Demolisher. 
all I need to do is build up one good push with the Evo Zap, Arrows, and Curse, and I'll win. I'll just Prince here. I know it's going to jump over the bridge, but it doesn't matter to me. I'll Curse right away as well. Oh, I forced out the Evo Tesla. That was a really bad Tesla. I'm going to Arrows here. And I know I took a lot of damage, but using that Evo Tesla loses him the game. I'll Goblin Giant here. That was a bad expo. This is game over. I'm just going to go for the Demolisher here. Demolisher does actually outrange the Tesla, guys, just so you know. I'm going to go for the Evo Zap. Let's go. That's tower down. That goblin demolisher is splashing the tower. <laughs> Bro, nothing feels better than destroying an expo player. I actually enjoy playing expo myself, but I'm not going to lie. I really don't like facing it, but I kind of enjoy playing it. Playing against expo is just so boring sometimes. They just defend all game. GG's though. I'll see you guys in the next match. I'm really liking this deck. If you guys had one improvement for this deck, please let me know down below in the comments. The, so like something that I've been debating is maybe going like rage instead of arrows or maybe like rage instead of goblin curse because raged up goblin giant is very good but because this deck is working with the goblin curse i've decided like if it's not broke don't fix it right that's quote of the day right there guys i always get asked on stream nearly every day quote of the day that's my quote right there well, what if it ain't broke don't fix it right there done that's my quote okay this guy's the phoenix i'll just mirror it with the phoenix and then see what he wants to do here okay he goes for the goblin demolisher in the back it's looking like a pekka deck again man pekka is so popular bro i was telling you guys how popular pekka is actually okay let me just go for the prince here okay he actually has goblin giant i'll take it i'll goblin demolisher then curse that goblin curse is so good against goblin giant nice i just get three goblins right there <laughs> well now he got three wait now i got three bro we're just going back and forth spawning goblins on each other <laughs> charge Oh, man, imagine if that charged. I will get the Goblin Demolisher death damage, though. Bang! Let's go. It's always really nice to get that death damage. It's like a quick little, like, seven to 800 damage for pretty much no work at all. It's a very, very nice card. It's my third favorite card, for sure, right behind the Mighty Miner and the Princess. I don't even know what number four would be, but I love these cards. I will go for the Phoenix behind this. You'll probably get an easy defense, but cycling to my Evo Goblin Giant is kind of important in a matchup like this where he has the Prince. I'm going to activate King Tower. No, nah, I can't because the Phoenix. So I'll go in the middle. You always want to activate King Tower versus Goblin Giant decks. But the only problem right there was that if I tried to activate King, I think the Phoenix would have done enough damage to not make it activate. That Demolisher will get a Death Bomb if I don't zap. So I will have to zap here. Bro, guys, I have a person in my stream who counts down every single day until my birthday. Well, at the time of this video, I have 10 more days, but I think when I upload it, there will be nine more days until my birthday. I just think it's so funny. They've been counting down since like day 45 or something like that. And I just find it crazy how it's already been like nearly like like over a month literally since they started counting down my birthday. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like time moves so much faster now. Like... I feel like when I was younger, time moved by so much slower. Even like five years ago, time moved so much slower. But now it's just moving so fast. I just can't believe I'm turning 19 soon. For all of you guys who are asking how old I am, I'm 18. Just going to Goblin Giant here to tank for the Phoenix. And then I can go for the Fisherman here to activate my King Tower. That should activate. I'm going to Zap here to kill the Egg maybe. Bro, come on. That's not real. I might be in a bit of trouble here on defense. Because I'm down a bit of Elixir. I'll just demolish her plus Curse. Don't hit it. Don't hit it. Oh, man, that's unlucky. It's all good, though. I can maybe go for an Evo Goblin Giant, the bridge. I should be able to get at least, like, one tap on the tower. Then if I use my spells, I'll take it. Wait, is, nah, I'm not going to zap. Just in case it, it doesn't hit, I'm not going to zap. Because if that doesn't get a hit and I waste my zap right there, I lose the game. Yeah, I can a Fisherman here. And then I can go for the zap. Like, if I didn't have zap there, I could have been cooked. I'm going to curse that. And then if I just go for one Goblin Giant, the bridge, it's game over. Oh, that was so close. I think that actually hit the tower anyways. I'm not going to lie. Unfortunate. Oh, Prince and Demolisher. Quick little Prince charge. Prince is, Prince is just so broken after the buff. Man, it barely moved and got a charge shot. I'll let that Demolisher go and charge on my tower. And if I just Goblin Giant the bridge here, it's game over. Because I can just Evo Zap his Fisherman. And there's just nothing he can do to stop that. Evo Zap here. And good game. Very nice win. I'll see you guys in the next match. Okay. We're up against Teeth? Tyfe? I don't know how to say this guy's name. I'll cycle the Zap on the tower. In my opinion, the best starting play with this deck is to just cycle the Zap on the tower. It's pretty safe, and you're just getting to your Evolve Zap. Cycling to Evolve Zap is really important in this Goblin Giant deck. What do you guys think about this Goblin deck, by the way? It'll let me know your Goblin Giant Evolution decks down in the comment. I'd actually like to see them. 
On stream today, I got quite a few good Goblin Giant Evo deck suggestions when I was streaming out testing the new Goblin Giant Evo, so I would appreciate if you guys had some more options for me down below, because I'm not exactly sure, but I actually do think this evolution is a lot of fun. What do you guys think about it? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Do you think it's, like, average? Like, I don't know. If I had to change the Evo Goblin Giant, I wouldn't buff it. I wouldn't nerf it, but maybe I would change the spawning goblin mechanic. Maybe make the goblin mechanic a bit different, I guess, because just spawning goblins randomly just seems kind of dumb, I guess. I feel like it will be kind of annoying sometimes, but then kind of useless at other times, so maybe make it, like, a more consistent thing, I guess. Oh, Fisherman here on the Goblin Demolisher, just to full counter it. Hopefully that doesn't connect. It actually may. I might need to zap. Nah, I'm good. Okay. This is going to be hard, dude. It's going to be very, very difficult to break through this guy. This was the kind of matchup that I was talking about earlier in the video, saying that I think this is going to be really, really hard. Just going to zap here. I don't really have anything for drill, so I don't know how I'm going to win this, but I'll try my best. I'm going to go for the Goblin Demolisher here. Beautiful full counter. I guess that will work, right? But I have to predict the placement every time. And then if he starts going like spells with it, GG's. This is the deck that I played last season, except I had Rocket in the deck. I think Rocket is much better in this deck. And the Goblin Demolisher always gives away that this deck is playing with Drill. Okay, I'm going to go for the Goblin Giant Evo at the bridge here. Then I'm going to go for Prince here to block the Tesla. His next Tesla should be Evo. I'll just go for the Goblin Curse here. We'll take out everything. I'm going to Evo Zap as well. Just to get some chip damage. I feel like I'm not actually going to be able to break through in this entire match. It's just going to be like me struggling to break break through. Maybe I'll get like one or two Goblin Demolisher explosions. But mainly I think it's just going to be me going like arrows and zap cycles. Like pushing while defending kind of thing. Or uh, spelling while attacking. Sorry. Just going to Goblin Giant again. I can get another set of spells down. I'll just go for the Fisherman here to pull over the Knight. Go for the Curse plus Arrows immediately. Get some more Chip on the Tower. I might also go for the Zap, honestly. There's literally no way for me to break through. I wish I could break through, but I think he's going to have to mess up. Or at least whenever he has Evo Tesla, I can't break through. I'm just going to go for the Evo Goblin Giant at the back. I've literally played it every time. It's in Cycle, I'm not going to lie. Oh, wait to see where it goes. Yeah, it's on the side. I thought he may put it on the side, so I waited on my Prince right there because... I just can't risk trying to catch the drill and then not catching it. I think I would instantly lose the game because the cheapest way to counter like the drill after going Prince would be to put another three elixir. That's eight elixir on one drill. Just going to arrows here. I got a lot of goblins. Oh, they're already gone. I'm going to goblin giant the bridge again. Hold up. I can maybe get some damage here. Oh, fisherman to predict a knight. Damn it, bro. He didn't go for it. Well played by him, though. Honestly, this guy's playing this well. I can't lie. Man. If he goes for more Drill Poisons, I'm kind of cooked. But I do have a decent damage lead, though. All these spells that I've been doing the whole game have been adding up. That's exactly what I was telling you guys earlier. That the only really way to break through for me is just spelling the tower while attacking. So, it seems to be working good so far. And I've perfectly defended the Drill. It's not even taking a single hit yet. Oh, Evil Gob Giant here. And it's time to go for a Prince. Making a big push. I do have the Curse. I'll just Curse everything. Try to hit some Skellies. Okay, nice. I'll Evo Zap too. I could go for the arrows, but I don't want to overcommit and kind of like get caught slipping when he goes for a drill, potentially. I'll just Fisher here. With a 300, nearly 400 damage lead, I think just uh, defending will be good. And just uh, doing the same thing that I've been doing, because it's clearly been working. And if he gets too aggressive with the poisons, maybe I could break through. Gob Giant Bridge here. Hold up, guys. Hold up, guys. This is winnable. This is winnable. Zap. Nah. I'm just going to keep spelling, bro. I actually can't touch the tower. Going to go for Prince. I'm only ahead by like 50, but... Bro, I'm ahead by 12 damage. What is this, bro? How is he catching back up? Okay, I do have Evo Zap going for the... Okay, guys, Evo Gob Giant. Goblin Curse. Gonna go for the arrows. Gonna go for the Zap. I need to get to my Evo Zap. That will blow up all my defenses. And there it goes. I'm gonna demolish the bridge again. And I didn't even need that, bro. I just kind of got too antsy. I'm gonna Prince here. I think I won. If I just go Curse, Arrows, Rage, I win. Fisher to block the Fire Spirit. If I didn't block that, I think I would lose Arrows. And then Evo Zap, and this is game over. Evo Zap is gonna save me. GG's. Yeah, perfect defense. If he cycled a few more poisons, I probably would have lost, but I'll take it. GG's. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.